YouTube channel. My name is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, LTK, and TikTok. And today I am here with an anthropology fall haul. So first of all, fall is my favorite season. I absolutely love it. I get so excited and I really do start to get excited in the beginning of August. So I know it's still early, but I am so ready. Um, and in addition to loving fall, I also really love anthropology. I just love walking around and browsing and it's such a like calming experience for me. I love to smell the candles, touch all like the home decor. I just absolutely love it. So this is just such a comforting type of video for me. I love fall, I love anthropology, and just the two combined it makes me so happy. So honestly, when I'm having a bad day, if I just take a stroll through anthropology, it makes my day, it makes me happy. So I hope that this video brings you a little bit of joy. If you love fall as well, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I plan on coming out with quite a bit of fall content this season so get excited and let's get into the haul all right the first thing i want to talk about is actually the top that i'm wearing i love this color i think this just screams fall also though it's something that i can wear now while it's still 90 degrees outside but i want to channel fall and it's a good layering piece so i can wear this kind of as a base layer and then throw like a leather jacket over top when it's like october november and it's starting to get a little bit cooler so love that i can wear a top like this now with sandals and then dress it up with booties throw on a hat you've got quite a versatile piece so i love this color i think it is so so beautiful I was first drawn to this color and then when I saw the silhouette of the top I thought it was really pretty and unique and I also grabbed it in white so I originally got this in a size medium I tried it on and I decided to order the large as well so I could definitely go with the medium but I personally prefer the large because I felt like it was cutting in a little bit under my underarms I felt like a little restricted you know how sometimes the seam is just like kind of just a little bit too high it feels like it's encroaching on your underarm like I don't know maybe I'm the only one but I just sometimes want more room here and I think it is like a little loose you can kind of see it's definitely not like tight to the body but I just wanted it to be I mean it's a flowy kind of effortless top so I didn't need it to be too tight it also has like a kind of cinching at the bottom so it is more of like a cropped top it kind of like hits at my belly button and then the fabric like flows over and I'm kind of having to adjust it a little bit because it's very like effortless and flowy so if I were wearing it out I might do like fashion tape or something but I think it's fine um, so like I said I also grabbed it in a white so I'm gonna show you the white and I did size up in both of these colors I personally recommend sizing up because of the way that it drapes like it doesn't matter if it's a little bit more oversized in my opinion so you can kind of see like how beautiful this is but this is what I'm talking about here where um, it just kind of like flows so it can be pretty low cut um, I just kind of and making sure that you can't see my bra but like I said if I were wearing it out I might just throw in some fashion tape and then let me show you the cinch at the bottom but the back is just plain um, so no you know like not, not too much fabric or anything like that and then this is what the bottom looks like so like I said I just thought this was so beautiful so here's the um, kind of like elastic band here so that's what holds it close to your body so I thought these would be really cute like I said with jeans but I think you could also wear them for like a more formal event with like a skirt you could even throw like a blazer over top if you wanted or dress it down with like a cardigan I just think this is such a great kind of like shell and I just thought it was really beautiful so I did notice that these went on sale recently so I will of course have everything linked down below I hope everything is available there is one item that I know is already sold out but I want some more of it I'll get into that in a little bit and I join the waitlist so if something is sold out currently join the waitlist with your email and they will let you know when it's available for purchase because some of these things go so fast Obviously, I'm not the only one who loves fall because things are selling out. 
Okay, next let's move into some scents. So I actually don't usually buy the scents full price because oftentimes the candles and things like that go on sale for at least 20% in anthropology. So I have quite a few sitting in my saved for later because I plan to purchase whenever there's a sale. If you'd be interested in seeing a follow-up video whenever I do end up buying those candles, let me know down below because I'd be happy to share that with you. But I did have a gift card and I decided to pick up this this one because this is unique um, I've never seen anything like this I also thought that the actual um, like canister was really beautiful so in addition to the scent being a little unique I just really like this and I've been really into lavender lately just to try and help me sleep and calm down and relax so I just thought this was really cool so this is lavender balsam and it's just so beautiful everything in anthropology is just so beautiful so I saw this lit up in the store and I just loved how the glass like it just it looked like multicolored and it was just so so pretty so anyway um, I did grab this it comes in like another really beautiful bowl type thing which I really love because once the candles out you can just repurpose that and use it for like fruit or you know whatever put some decor on a table so I do really love those as well but I just liked this scent and I liked that it was so unique it says green lavender fresh balsam warm woods and again I will be buying more candles whenever there's a sale so let me know if you want to see that but for now that's the only one that I grabbed and then I also grabbed a couple diffusers so I'm actually going to pop up a picture of the Veluspa um, diffuser that I bought it's downstairs in my bathroom so um, I'll have that here so you can check it out it is so good like I go into the it's just a small powder bath but whenever I walk in there it like hits me the scent is so good so strong and I have a couple of other diffusers and they're not as good as that one so I highly recommend and that one is like relatively affordable in my opinion for diffusers so um, very happy with that purchase and then I also purchased these two so this one is just the Capri blue volcano but it is all black so I thought this was kind of fun for like Halloween just to have you know an all black kind of decor piece but then it's that you know traditional volcano uh, scent that is you know very popular so I don't know if it has a description but anyway this is kind of like a citrusy scent so really love that I wouldn't say the scent is fall by any means but just kind of like the aesthetic definitely is and then this is another Capri Blue um, diffuser that I grabbed that is fall themed this one is pumpkin clove so here's what the box looks like but then the actual diffuser I'll show you in a sec it doesn't want to focus um I thought this was just such beautiful packaging as well and then you can see here the diffuser is like um kind of like has like white it almost looks like paper mache on there but then when it catches the light it's got a little bit of gold in it so really pretty and just really excited to use these I really love candles I also really love essential oils and diffusing essential oils but sometimes to just have something kind of smelling good in your house you know it's nice to have these diffusers so those are the only scents that I picked up but I do have quite a long wish list so let me know if you want to see those and then I want to talk about some more fun like Halloween type pieces but before I get into that I did buy this beautiful vase so like I was saying I was just walking around anthropology and this just caught my eye I thought this was such a good investment like not investment but you know sometimes like you want to treat yourself and I figured this would be a piece that I would have for years to come and it could be decorated basically all year round right now I have this pompous grass in it this was literally five dollars at Trader Joe's so I just thought this was kind of a fun way to style it for fall but I feel like you could throw in some eucalyptus at Christmas time and even like a little flower or something in the spring and summer so I just thought this was so beautiful and I don't usually buy pieces like this I just I don't know I don't gravitate towards it but this one like literally pulled me in and I wanted it I was just like that's coming home with me so I really love this I have a vase that I got 
as a gift from anthropology and i literally have flowers in it every week i love it so this was just kind of another thing that i knew i would get so much use out of and it's just one of those things that i'll see in my house that i love so i really like it with the pompous grass i have it just on a bookshelf right now and i think this is so cute there are a couple more um like vases within that collection so you know what let me move over i will pop up the picture here of the other vases i have a couple on my wish list that i'm really thinking about grabbing as well okay now let's talk about some of the more fun like halloween pieces that i picked up this halloween i will have a four-year-old so i'm just trying to make it fun for him and a little bit more like magical i just think that the holidays are so fun with any kids so the first thing I got is actually a gift for my mother-in-law. She loves cats. So I kind of thought this was fun. Look at this cute little cat mug. Isn't that adorable? I mean, none of us need another mug, but I just thought this was so fun. And then to go with it, I got her this little dessert tray, which is so cute, especially if you're a cat person. I think you would love this. So I'm just going to give her this little set and I could just see her having like some tea and like cookies or something like that or whatever. And I just thought this was so cute and such a fun little gift. So I'm going to give that to her. And then I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I'm into owls this year. Like this fall, I really like owls. So I picked up one for myself and I got this little set. So I, again, like I said, I have so many mugs. I really don't need another mug, but I thought this would be kind of like a cute, more like decor piece. Like I could, you know, put it out on the counter or something and put something in it. I don't know, but I just thought this was so fun. And I just think this is cute for like cookies or whatever. And I'm just kind of starting to buy some like pieces that really just make me happy. Like there's really no other reason behind them. This is definitely not a necessity, but these are pieces that when I pull out and my son sees them, it's just going to make us happy. And I just think this is so fun. So really love these as well. So if you're more into the cats or the owls, you have options there. And then another kind of like owl thing that I grabbed was this lantern. So this comes in a small and a large and I just picked up the small because I wanted to see it for myself. So here's what this looks like and I think it's really cute. It's very like subtle and you, you know, you could just put it on like some shelves or whatever. I can't move this because I'm going to We'll get into that in a second, but then you can just put your candle in there and it is really, really cute. But I, this was $38 and I just kind of got it because I wanted to see it. And a lot of things that anthropology sell out very quickly. So I thought, you know what, let me just grab it, look at it and decide if I want it. So purchase this and I happened to go into Hobby Lobby to get something for my son. Like I said, this was $38. And I saw this at Hobby Lobby and it's definitely um, not as subtle and it's just kind of like a little bit of a different look but I just want to show you if you like more of this aesthetic this was I want to say it was like $16 no it couldn't have been that I don't know full price what it was but I got this on sale and this was seven dollars when I finally checked out so this little guy was from Hobby Lobby seven dollars and this one was 38 so this one's going back because it's cute but for seven dollars i like this one more and i do just like the gold accents i like that this one's a little bit warmer and this one also came in a large size so i may go back to um hobby lobby and grab the large one before they sell out so just wanted to put that out there um you know if you kind of like that but you're trying to save a little bit of money that is an option and then the last thing that I have is these cups. So I got these at Christmas last year from Anthropology, and I loved them. We used them all Christmas, like the whole Christmas season. We would make like little whiskey drinks in them, little cocktails, things like that, or just juice or whatever. And it was so fun. I got the snowmen, I want to say snowmen, gingerbread, and gingerbread men, gingerbread cookies. <laughs> um, and Christmas trees and I just got two of each so I had six cups and so I saw that they came out with these for like the fall this year and I decided to grab so 
these are unfortunately what are sold out and I'm not surprised because they were so popular last year as well but I went into my local anthropology and I didn't even see them in store so I'm kind of hoping that they bring them back it's only August I can't imagine that they're sold out and gone for the whole season um this is what I put my name on the wish list for because I want to get um like another set of two essentially so I grabbed this one first I got two of these and it's just got the cute little black cat and it's orange this is very um very much Halloween themed and then I also got two of these which is white with the pumpkin which is really cute this one I feel like can last the duration of fall and so I got two and two and then shortly after I ordered those I saw that they also had like a black one with a white ghost on it let me pop up a picture so you can see that's the one that sold out I added it to my cart and I was going to purchase it literally like the next day and I forgot about it and when I went back to check my cart, it was sold out. So I put my name on the wish list for that or the whatever the wait list. So I have these two. So I have four cups and I really wanted to get six like I had for the holidays last year. So we'll see if I can get my hands on those. So as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the anthropology holiday items sell out quickly. So I'm going to share a few things that are on my wish list that I may be grabbing, but I want you to know about them in case you want to grab them before they sell out. So we're going to get into that, but I did also want to mention that last week I came out with my first fall video of the season and that was my fall must have so if you haven't seen that I highly recommend checking it out it's kind of like my favorite products for fall fall essentials and I think it's really good I'm really happy with the items that I shared in that video so I think if you love fall that might be a fun one for you to watch so let's talk about a few of the items that I'm contemplating purchasing so the first one is these spider web coasters I just think these are so beautiful and fun I love that they're gold and they're just not like super um you know colorful and kind of like cartoony or anything like that I just love that they're still very aesthetic and pretty and neutral but they are obviously for the season so I really really love those and I don't know I may pick those up this one I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this is a jack-o-lantern bowl it comes in this black color but then it also comes in green I think I'm gonna grab the black but literally last Halloween I was like I don't have a good candy bowl that I really like and I just think this is so cute and just a fun bowl to have when you're handing out candy to kids so I think I am gonna grab this one because it's something that I needed last year and I may check TJ Maxx to see if they have something else that's like more affordable but I just think this one is so cute so really really love that and then the next thing that I really love is this table runner I think this is so beautiful I love the colors in this I really love green and so I love that it's got a lot of like greens and blues but then it's got the pop of like orange and yellow I think this is just so beautiful and so fun and I have a fall table runner that I've had for like five years and it's just like different colored leaves and I really like it but I've just had it for so many seasons and I think I'm ready to switch it up so I really like this one and I'm thinking about grabbing it because I think it's so so pretty and then a couple other glasses because these are currently sold out I wanted to share some other options that I also thought were really pretty and fun first is this assorted glass um, they're the, like whiskey glasses I think these are really pretty and just like neutrals and kind of like fun fall colors so I really love these and again just like a fun set to have for it this season and then I also love these like floral ones they've got like floral like flowers and I think they have like an owl and mushrooms and gourds like I don't even it just looks like really beautiful this is definitely an, a piece of art on a glass so just a really beautiful set of glasses if you wanted something like that maybe you're hosting or something these are just so fun and so pretty and then the last thing that I want to mention is this top I don't know how like comfortable this would be because anytime I've worn sequins especially like under your underarms when you're like your arms are rubbing sometimes it can like um kind of bother you on your arm so I'm not sure about that but I just thought this was so cute for the holidays for Christmas or New Year's and I know it's August and you're probably like why are you thinking about that but 
come like the holidays it's hard to find those things or you're just not thinking about like what you're gonna wear and you have an event and you're like oh my gosh what do I have in my closet so I just think that it's kind of a good time to get it now while you know you have time to prepare and you can just throw that in the closet and I feel like this top is really a versatile piece that you could wear with like just denim and some booties or you could even wear it with a suit and dress it up if you're going to more of like a work event um, or obviously like a skirt or something. I just think this is a piece that you could wear in so many different environments and have it more casual or more dressy and I just think it's really pretty and fun and again I'm always like scrambling at the last minute to try and find something for holiday parties and I just think that's a beautiful option. All right, so that is it for my anthropology haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if there's anything that you've recently purchased for fall, whether it's from anthropology or another store, because clearly I'm very excited. I love fall, and I just love talking about all things fall. It just gets me excited for time with family, cozy time at home, all the good things. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.